I've been working on this project guys since past 2009 and it has been not very very consistent especially within the last couple years just due to you know the problem with the games in general for pass but this year 17 looks great and so that's why i'm continuing continuing this this is the story of lam mateo who is american international started at the age of 17 even though that says 23 i changed it to 17 later on i just never changed that graphic but started at willem choi for in the netherlands and you know did okay um you know scored three goals the first season nine goals in the second which really started to catch fire and then three goals again before he left um, as his services were requested from none other than uh, RSC Anderlecht but Anderlecht didn't really seem to enjoy his his um, company and only scored four goals but pretty heavily populated striker section so he had to leave uh, thankfully he found uh, in the Premier League with Hull City and scored goals for Hull City four goals total before Fulham wanted to snatch him up and they did and Fulham of course is a club I support in real life um, love them and so you'll hear me often say beloved Fulham so La Mateo joins Fulham he uh, avoided transfer rumors etc and just said I'm staying I'm staying in Fulham that's where I am and you can see he became a big star um, scoring double digits 12 goals in the first half season and then 41 goals in his second official season winning the golden boot if you guys know I'm, i really enjoy the goals i scored with la mateo because i use player camera on all of them so probably for the exception of two matches that i didn't use player camera and so you'll see that a lot in this uh in this mode in this be become a legend mode um and i'll be doing that kind of commentary with it so um as fulham started to gain ground they started to run into the financial troubles they had Obertan. Agban Lohor and Giovinco all had to be released. And then the worst news, Matt, Matt, Matteo, I was about to call him Matt 10, but Matteo, car accident. And you can see there, suffering injuries, career injuries in this case, and it's devastating. And so, fast forward, Matteo had to be released due to surgery, costs, etc. Had to make up some story. Basically, I'm transitioning from 2000, past 2009 to past 2010 and so in 2010 and this year it's secondly the 2015 or yeah 2016-17 season Mateo makes a return and here he is he's got some opportunities he's got to start low though can't just join Fulham again in the Premier League so got to go into the championship and that's what we do we join Swansea and Matt 10 or Matt, Matt you know Matt 10 has to set up Mateo here to join a lower league and of course I didn't really like Swansea so La Mateo went to Leicester City and Leicester City was supposed to be the home for a while until you know Mateo just couldn't get in form hated the team scored a couple of goals but just didn't enjoy it so he left and he <laughs> can see there it says I'm done with Leicester and for Leicester he scored four goals as well um, before after that so once he moved on from Leicester he actually went to Watford and you know became pretty good at Watford scored 10 goals for the club um, but of course Mateo's like a nomad and he, you know had the opportunity to move again um, Seb Blatter did a UEFA Europa League which was again made up but had to be used because of the Master League structure and so we actually found ourselves playing Atletico Madrid at one point uh, Watford manager actually said that Mateo was not for sale but he was quickly sold to Newcastle who had the big bucks and Newcastle was down to the absolute wire um, to be promoted or to win the title actually and they would get promoted and Mateo, Mateo would play again and play again in the gold cup for USA and get some silverware hardware if you will and then he actually joined Wolves from Newcastle and his history with Wolves was quite well. Yeah, they locked him in for a while. He, he scored a couple goals, three goals, eight goals, and then seven goals. So three seasons with the club. And then he actually left to go play football in Italy and went to Napoli. And Napoli really was a very, very small stint. And J-League even wanted Matteo's services. Matteo broke the Napoli contract. He got left out on the bench. He went to AC Siena for a little bit and just all over the place at this point and now Wolves want him and he actually becomes the coach at Wolves his debut as a manager and there he is unfortunately 
as it follows him around. Mateo just could not make it happen. And tried as he, as much as he did. Unfortunately, he was sacked. Eventually, he went back to actually Kansas City Wizards. Unfortunately, there was a player strike. And so he had to return and Fulham picks him up. Right, guys? Are you keeping up? So playing with Fulham, scoring 150 goals for the club in total. And see, there's a video there that I played. But, you know, of course, Mateo gets tempted by an offer. And where does he go? AC Milan. And here, by now, he's 31. All right? And so he's just trying to make it happen. And he plays great for Milan, scores a number of goals, 30 goals for Milan. And then he really got dipped into form. He only played a season. And then just not going to bouts with the manager. And he says, I'm done with Milan after a season. Where does he go? They interviewed him. They wanted to see what he's going to do. Big decision for the 31-year-old. And he goes to Fulham. But Fulham run into trouble. Accused clubs. It's just complete scandal in the Premier League. And then so they get demoted, and now Mateo says, I'll play for free. And what happens, the 2024 season that Mateo joins is now over because of the scandals. So Mateo actually starts backing the club and says he's going to just pay, play for free and back the club, become an owner. So there you go. Where we last saw him, it was in past 2011, and he played for Fulham. And now we continue on with the jury of Lam Mateo. So we jump into the very first match for La Mateo here against Wigan Athletic. I'll kind of work on this a little bit more, but La Mateo is on the right-hand side. Played right midfield for several clubs, and so the coach wants to put him there, and that's fine. And it's basically, I'm going to show primarily what Mateo does in the matches, not so much the match itself unless it's significant. Let me know what you guys think about the format. I'm still working out the kinks here. I just really want to get this episode out, which will only have this one match. Um, but in the next couple of updates, I'll definitely have a lot more um, going forward. So here's probably one of the better chances. It was a great block, but you can tell the player cam is just so much fun um, to play. I just absolutely love it. I've scored goals this way and just love it. Here, Mateo's part of a good sequence. Couldn't get on the end of the rebound, though. Was still really fun to, to play. Here's a terrible touch from Mateo, unlike him. And then unlike him, well, he's a little fiery, so this is a little bit more like him. He made a pretty silly slide tackle, and he's going to get a yellow card here. As you see, Matt, uh, Mateo is the captain of the club, being probably the oldest player on the pitch at 35. But a little bit after the first half, he gets his through on goal. I've noticed with PES 17, you can't just run at players as you used to in the previous pass, but you can still make good tackles like here. Nice little through ball right back to, to Mateo and a great shot, but going for upper 90 and it just didn't pay off. So it's really not easy. I'm playing this on, and this was top player, and then I'll do superstar for away matches. Um, but really fantastic match overall. Here was Wigan's best chance. Nice little reverse pass there with David Button. Able to make the save there. Here, Mateo getting fouled as it happens. You know, just nice little slick moves. Has good dribbling. You know, I'm probably, I play him pretty con conservatively. Don't usually take the free kicks, but here I took one with Mateo and, you know, Superman goalkeeper and pass. Go figure, but it's all right. Here's a nice little perfect pass to make a run onto it, and he's just fouled from Jordi Gomez. And before anybody comments, I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, these players are all probably retired by the 2026 season. And you're right. I couldn't, there's no way around it, honestly, for editing wise. It would have taken forever. So I, w I wanted to make sure I could at least, um, you know, just play the current 2016 season. 
Um, I know the players are all over the place, but still, it's still fun. So let's just get a match in. Unfortunately, this match ended in 0-0. Kind of a tough one for the debut of this episode and series. I was a little bit rusty in recording this, though, so I didn't have too much content after the match. So no off, uh, you know, off the pitch look. So I'm going to end it right here. Mateo finished with a 6.5 rating. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, guys. Let me know what you would like to see from this series. I'll definitely have a more solid approach to it in episode two. Thanks for watching, and as always, take care and stay tuned.